I was sitting in my office on an ordinary day in my ordinary little town. The PI business isn't easy, but here, cases come as often as rain in a drought, so I take a lot of breaks. I was minding my own business, smoking my favorite cigar, when outside my door I heard this blood-curdling scream. I grabbed my umbrella, cracked open the door, looked out, and saw what was wrong. My receptionist Shirley was sitting behind her desk, looking happy as a clam, holding a newfangled talking device and muttering something about the rush and sports highlights. I'm not one to trust new inventions and ideas, and I wasn't about to trust whatever was making Shirley scream one bit. I've never had a lot of faith in technology. It was probably nothing. The dame screams all the damn time. However, something she said, the rush, sounded familiar. I did remember some similar screaming and shouting occurrences earlier that week, and the rush always seemed to be involved. Yeah! Text message from the rush. Oh my god. Highlights. Oh my god, it's a highlight of my Yes! Yes! Oh my god! The rush! I figured I might as well investigate it anyway. Who was I kidding? I didn't have anything else going on. And that's when my ordinary day turned extraordinary. Get back behind the reception desk. Now, Mr. Cave, I do not know what you're talking about, but my name is Roxanne Smith, and I need your help. Now, Shirley, this is getting ridiculous. I know we haven't had a lot of cases in a while, but this is embarrassing. <sighs> Detective Cave, I am dead serious. I need your help. Although I couldn't shake the uncanny resemblance between Roxanne and Shirley, I decided to ignore it and try and help her out. So what is it that I can help you with? I think my husband's cheating on me. He keeps getting these text messages that get him all riled up. He shouts constantly and then immediately tries to hide it as if he's embarrassed. I've asked him about it, Mr. Cave, I have, and he keeps telling me it's all about the rush. There it was again, the rush. It was everywhere, and it was clearer than ever that I had to find out what this thing really was. Now, Mrs. Smith, I have some good news for you and some bad news for you. The good news is that I don't think your husband's been cheating on you. The bad news is that I think it could be something much worse. I've heard of this Rush character. It's been the reason for all this screaming and shouting around the office lately. You don't think he's being brainwashed, do you? What are you going to do about this? I gotta get straight to the source. I'll go to the Rush headquarters. There it was, Rush Headquarters. I didn't know what I was going to see in there, but I knew I had to find out. What I didn't know was what was in there would change my life forever. Hello, Detective Cave. I've been expecting you. What? Now who are you, and how did you know I was coming? I have my ways. Who are you? 
I am Dr. Kirch, and I created the rush! <laughs> so all that excitement and the screaming and the shouting and it's driving me crazy, and that's all because of you? The highlights to the, the super phone thing, that was you? Yes, here at the Rush, we provide real-time highlights to your smartphone. Can't get to your kid's game? No problem. Subscribe to the Rush at therush.com. We'll send those highlights to your smartphone within minutes of them happening. So you never miss a moment, no matter where you are. What a shameless plug. And highlights right to your phone? That's impossible. It's malarkey. Why don't you see for yourself? Send him the demo text. There was no doubt in my mind that this place was strange. The people were overdramatic, their ideas far from plausible, and their boss completely insane. But for some reason I felt compelled to give their idea a shot. It actually works. <laughs> Well, we wouldn't be here if it didn't, would we? Do you have all that you need, Detective Cave? I believe that I do. Thank you for your time. Although strange, this rush thing struck something in me. Maybe it was all the excitement surrounding it. Maybe it was just a really good idea. I don't know. But it might just be the thing to restore my faith in technology.